all right so welcome back people to mg sports tv and it is that time of the year again where predictions <laughs> mean everything what do i mean by predictions mean everything people it is certainly a hundred percent confirmed that this year we are gonna have a good year where the reggae boys are concerned guess what we have the world cup qualifiers coming up we have the nation league coming up but tentatively or immediately it's first of all the nation's league so we're going to play against the usa and automatically you must know sir a lot of predictions are going around squads some people are saying hey, mg what's going on we don't see your team <laughs> because they know sir me i'll get some level of cussing because me i got through it to our four probably about four or five jpl ball at night so you don't know sir the cussing i got stop put up me and already they have you cussing I already, I'm there for cussing. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. And hopefully, you guys are actually having a, well, this again in the morning. So, hopefully, you have a good rest overnight. So, this is the possible, possible 23 man squad. Possible 23 man squad to face the USA. In the nation league game that is coming up right around the corner nation league semi-finals at that so you don't know say so this big very very important a lot of persons are looking out to see um the one with messi a play if ronaldo finally sought out in passport if karen ben benzema officially um have spoken to our uh, grimson so all of these things people want to know <laughs> anyways so we have the good news we have the good news so we're gonna jump in at um First of all, like I said, people, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Um, it's really, really crucial to do so. Maybe we can hit up, we can, maybe we can go for a thousand likes. We don't know. I maybe want 20,000 views. We don't know. Anyways, the more likes, the more likely the video I can go to more people. So the more views. Yeah. We're not going to help me with that one there. Yeah. So, me I do what I can do in give, providing you guys with information. We're not help me, we're not help me just by hitting the like button. Yeah. Anyways, so let's get straight to the meat of the matter. Going to start off first of all with the goalkeepers. Yes, Andre Blake, we all know first name on the team sheet, and then now, secondly, um, Jamali Wait, Andre Blake, MLS Philadelphia Union, um, Jamali Wait, El Paso Locomotive in the USL Championship. Now, this player, Connor Boys Clark, let me tell you why I use Connor Boys Clark. I'm I love youth, I've loved seeing youth players in and around the senior team. And the reason for that is, I know most of us want to look at what we have right now, what we can do right now, but we have to prepare for the future. It's very important to prepare for the future. 2026, two years from now, most of our senior players, them, they're going to be, they're going to go, some of them, most of them are going to go over the age of 30. Most of them. But I'm not saying that they won't be good enough. I'm not saying that they won't be good enough. What, what I'm saying is, I, I want to see a team has a pretty much a balance where you have youth players coming through the ranks and we can see some level of um progress and continuity within each segment segment of the team the defenders the goalkeepers the midfielders the attackers we want to see that so i went for Connor boys clark because one i'm a big big youth um, advocate for youth players and secondly i think personally it makes sense now um a lot of players this is a the, the third the third spot is actually a position that is up for the grabs i would say where you have even um home for said now even uh kemar fast size there um well i'm on nine so there's quite a few names to throw in the bag there so um so connor boy slack is a player definitely i i have to say I have to have him. I mean, I have to get him now. So he's playing for Reddings, even though he's third string. He's actually a third string player for Reddings. I think there's one playing him, Button, and then you no know, Castro. I think Button is first choice, then Castro is second choice, and then Connor Boys class is third, is third choice. So he's in around the era. So that's actually a, a, a big, big positive in my view. Next up, let's go. With, next up, we're going to have a look at the defenders. Let's see what the defenders, let's see who are the defenders. So you don't know, so we have a big, big problem with defenders concerned. Defenders, they might drop like fly people. Ethan Pinnock, Amari Bell. But 
we still can't find some defenders to represent us. We can definitely do so. Um, first name on it on on on, 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 the, on the sheet is Damian Low. Maybe might see Damian Low play a little bit in the midfield this time around. We don't know. We saw we saw him with a, trip, a, a spectacular performance in the in the Nation League versus Canada. Um, but I'm not sure if Al Grimms is going to go by go go with that again. We don't know. We don't know. But Damian Low, Philadelphia Union, first player on the team sheet, MLS. Um, next up, uh, Michael Hector. I was thinking about between Michael Hector and Maria Parra, even of the two of them, because Ethan Pinnock is out, that bit of experience and, and, and quality is out of the team, and maybe Maria Parra had the experience. Um, so, just something to bring him back a little balance. But I'm going with uh, Michael Hector the Ch um, from Charlton Athletic in League One. Then now we have, that's, that's one of the centre-backs. We have three centre-backs and one more, one, another player is Greg Lee, a left-back. Um, Amar Bell is out, so you know, Greg Lee is, is very, very much important, extremely important for us at this moment. Um, Greg Lee, Oxford United at League One as well. Then now we have Deshaun Bernard, another centre-back for us at Sheffield Wednesday in the EFL Championship. Tavon Gray, NY, NYC, that's New York City FC in the MLS. Right back, right back. Last I would see him kind of get. I, I wish give him. I think it was a Trinidad game and Kyle Avery they run him to wreck. I think at the Trinidad game. I've got, is that a, is that the Trinidad game in, in, the, in the Gold Cup? Or are they? I will play against Haiti. Them two wingers there. Why? <laughs> they mean burn him up. Anyways, um, next up we have is Dexter Lembikisa of Hearts, who is now in. You know, Dexter Lembikisa officially a, a Wolverhampton player, but. He's now on loan at Hearts um, in the Scottish Premiership B club. Um, next up on the list, we're going to go now to the midfielders. Let's have a look over to the midfielders. Let's see who are the midfielders that we bring to this one. And this is where things are get. Well, I mean, there's no controversy. There's no controversy. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no people. First on the list, we have Bobby Reed, as you know, Fulham um, FC in the EPL, um, big name baller, Bob Reed, long standing Fulham player. Anyways, next up we have Joel Latibodier of Coventry City in the EFL Championship. We have John Russell of Barnsley in League One. Um, we have Daniel Johnson, TJ, Stoke City of the EFL Championship. Um, then now the youngster, another youngster, I uh, well, don't know, it's an advocate for youngsters, Kerry Anderson, Chartered Athletic League One. Then we have Casey Palmer. Coventry, Casey, nice, um, hope nice to have back Casey Palmer in the squad. Coventry, um, City at the, in the EFL Championship, and the last name in that number eighteen jersey that you're looking at is none other than Omar Yochinson. No, this is where things get interesting. No, me get all for beating for this. The video me do for Omar Yochinson, we get a lot of beating. Even people do follow up video. People send me video. People that do follow up video. Listen to me, people. Yeah, believe what you want. <laughs> believe what you want. I only, I only formulate my opinions based off what I've seen, and sometimes it's in information that's given to me, accurate, credible information that's given to me. No, <laughs> the play, the, the issue with Omar Richardson is if Omar Richardson does not make this trip, I already tell people say me personally, done. Anyways, but you're going to be a lot of persons say, hey, him young, him have all that time in that world. Fine, no problem. No problem. World Cup is two years from now, but World Cup qualifier starts now. World Cup qualifier starts now. Then now, in, in 2025, we have a few more games of World Cup qualifiers. I don't think we're going, we're, we, our games is going to do the same thing that we've been doing for time and time again. And chop and change the squad right until even the World Cup was still a chop and change the squad. During the final stages of the World Cup qualifiers, what chop and change the squad? I don't think Al is going to do that. If you look at Al Grimson's track record, if you look at Al Grimson's track record, he has used a minimal amount of players during his time period at Iceland and during his time period coaching wherever he goes because he believes in consistency and continuity. And that's maybe one of the reasons why he reaps so much success. At the end of the day, I think whichever a player algorithms are trying to reach out now at this present moment, and what any player I, I think who definitely not 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 interested or not accepting or whatever, I think Al Grimson will quick to move on and say, you know what, done, move on. We we'll have more players here. We can go on. No, if if there's no Omar Hutchinson for this game, me personally, I'm I would bring in 
Um, Kyle Dixon. Kyle Dixon, another youngster, I will vote for this young say, You know what? Let's see what he can do. Um, he not have a play. Just like when um, Dijon Richards went with the team to um, went with the team to Gold Cup and did did what he can do, whatever. Get the get the exposure amongst the senior team. This is a bigger a big opportunity. And I would vote. I say, you know what? Let's give Kyle Dixon that opportunity. But that is only on the basis of there's no Omar Hutchinson. If he received the call and decides, you know what, I'm focused on my club football right now, things are going good at the club, fine, so be it. Um, I will give um, kind this an option. Now, you're going to hear people say, no, you're going to see people that do video, and people are going to set um, MG Sports set. Um, Omar Hutchinson is nothing inside, that kind of thing is supposed to be inside. And you're going to see people in the comment section and say that. That's a general aspect. That's most I, that's I realize a lot of people reason now. That I realize that go on, yeah. So I push out, I push out the, 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 the diaspora baller for getting local baller. People, I swear go on, I hear everything. I hear everything. I read the comments them as well. I swear go on. Anyways, believe what I don't believe here. Yeah? <laughs> we can't happen now. Let's move on to the strike, the, stri the striker line. Um, this one is quite interesting. He, this is a strike, strike force people. First of all, we have Leon Bailey, the first name on in the forwards lineup. Leon Bailey, um, as you all know, Aston Villa, brilliant form, wonderful form. Leon Bailey in, in right now. Um, next up, we have Demarai, Demarai Gray. Is it Demarai? 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 Demarai Gray. Um, for El At. El Atifak or El Atifak, something like that. You know, don't get don't get sorry, don't get leaked, don't get don't get the Anyways, um, next up we have Shaman Nicholson from um Cl um Clamart Foot in the um in League R, or that's how they pronounce it. What they call it the Uber League, and then we have Mikel Antonio West Ham United, West Ham United, United West Ham <laughs> West Ham uh, in the um the the English Premier League. Then we have Ronaldo Cephas from Ankara Gutru in the Turkish Div division. Uh, we have no this player. The reason why this player, I'm not gonna say Devante Cole, no, because he's actually Devante Cole is actually in really, really good form at this present moment. Um, he's, he's actually in very, very good form. He's actually at Barnsley in, in, in League One, but he's actually in really good form and actually one of the top goal scorers in, in the league. I think he's the top goal scorer in the league. No, um. Let's move away from it. Is he the top goal scorer in the league? I think he's the top goal scorer in the league. But me know my top goal scorer for the club. Anyways, move on from that. No, this next player, this youngster, um, Bailey, um, me, me struggle with the name here. Um, Kadamar Terry. Or Kadamar Ter. Are you the Kadamar Ter? Or Terry? Hmm? Anyways, um, <laughs> from Chef, um, from Sheffield Wednesday. No, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a promising youngster. Quite excited, and I think that the reason why I add him to the list is because he's on a provisional squad list. And normally, when you see a player has been touted and scouted so heavily, I think most of the time Al Grimson want to look at that player. Most of the time, Al Grimson want to look at that player, and I think Al Grimson want to get that player involved. So I strongly believe that this is a sign. That this player in particular will be heavily involved um, going forward. No, you know, must be a case, but I just think so. We are, I've seen it time and time again. Be it of oh, Al Grimson, whenever Al Grimson is going for a player, especially going so aggressive for a player, what we normally see that player tend to um, tend to normally be included. Um, we, we have seen it time and time again, man. But. I think that is also, it's just like Kira Anderson, man. A lot of these youngsters, a lot of these players who are going to go for. Once you see them go for them so aggressively, you tend to bring them and give them the opportunity. Anyways, so it's our 15 minutes, quarter of an hour. <laughs> That's quite long. Tell us what you think, people. Tell, tell, tell me what you think about this, um, this squad. Um, this one is quite interesting. I do believe. That's what I'm saying. Run the likes up. Run them up. Run them up. Big up on yourself, people. Hit the like button. Enjoy the rest of your day, people. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time. God bless. We're out. Boom. Yo!